1958 was a recession year with unemployment above 7%, but inflation was low, so those with jobs were still prospering. The average annual salary was around $4,000, and this was still enough to live a great life. The computer revolution was on the cusp, and a new innovation this year called the microchip made everything possible. This was also the year another invention would become a national craze, the hula hoop. On January 7th, Gibson Guitar Company was issued a U.S. patent for the Flying V Guitar. This futuristic shaped guitar used the distinctive wood of the Limba tree during its initial run and would go on to become a popular guitar used from blues to heavy metal. Willie O'Ree became the first African American to appear in the NHL on January 18th, making his debut for the Boston Bruins in a 3-0 victory in Montreal, Canada. Future Hall of Fame outfielder Ted Williams became the highest paid player in Major League Baseball on February 6th. Williams re-signed with the Boston Red Sox and his contract was for $135,000. On March 11th, Charles Van Doren finally lost on the TV game show 21 after winning $129,000. His run on the show made him famous, and it would later be revealed that he was involved in a cheating scandal to rig the show. On March 20th, a slow-moving snowstorm moved across the mid-Atlantic states, dropping 50 inches of snow. The late-season snowstorm extended from North Carolina to Maine. Arnold Palmer won the first of his four Masters titles at Augusta National Golf Club on April 6th. Palmer finished one stroke ahead of Doug Ford and Fred Hawkins, and it was the first of his seven major titles. On May 22nd, President Dwight D. Eisenhower became the first American elected official to be broadcast on color television. The president was attending the opening of an NBC studio in Washington, D.C. when his speech was broadcast and recorded in color. On June 15th, the very first Pizza Hut opened in Wichita, Kansas. Brothers Dan and Frank Carney founded the company, which would grow into a worldwide chain. Alaska statehood was approved by the United States Congress on July 7th. President Eisenhower signed the Alaska Statehood Act into law and Alaska would officially become a state on January 3, 1959. On July 29th, Congress formally created the National Aeronautics and Space Administration also known as NASA. The new agency was created to be a civilian organization which encouraged peaceful applications in space science. The Huckleberry Hound Show, created by Hanna-Barbera, premiered on September 5th. This is the first time that Yogi Bear appeared on our televisions and would be the first animated series to win an Emmy Award. On October 17th, An Evening with Fred Astaire became the first television show ever recorded on color videotape. The one-hour show was broadcast on NBC and was filmed live with no editing. On November 20th, Jim Henson and his wife Jane founded Muppets, Inc. One of the company's first characters to appear regularly on television was Rolf the Dog, which originated in commercials for Purina Dog Chow and would later be a sidekick 
on the Jimmy Dean Show. The greatest game ever played occurred on December 28th. The Baltimore Colts and the New York Giants played in the NFL Championship game at Yankee Stadium. This was the first ever sudden death overtime game in NFL history. There were 17 future members of the Pro Football Hall of Fame involved in this game, which the Colts won 23 to 17.